Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are TJ Holmes and A.B. Robach, you out here making a fool of yourself, y'all. What am I talking about? TJ Holmes and Amy Robach has made their public debut. It was at, I think, the Bragman event. We're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about what Amy was wearing. But more importantly, I guess it's the only place she, they could debut themselves as a couple since, what, they've been cut off from all their family and their friends because everybody is not down with the nonsense that they bring to the table. But y'all, I got to say... Amy Robach and TJ Holmes are shameless. There's rumors going around that they have gotten a TV show. I do not believe them for a second. I know they are looking for a TV show, but gotten? Ah, I have to laugh. Y'all, let's get into this, right? Amy Robach and TJ Holmes attend first event together as a couple. It's not the most romantic kind of date, but it's one that the late great PR guru Howard Bragman would have approved of, and perhaps even when it phoned into page six. On Sunday, TJ Holmes and Amy Robach left attendees at the late Bragman star-studded memorial service gobsmacked when they arrived at, the, at a private park where the ceremony was held in North Hollywood, California. One person said, I couldn't believe it was them. I didn't even know they were in LA. Y'all act like the Beatles touched down. It's Amy and TJ. All y'all had to do was sprinkle some tequila on the ground and they would have popped up like Beetlejuice. Seriously. Oh my God, I didn't know they were around. If I was there, I'd be like, I did. I smelled, uh, I smelled a margarita breath from over here. Seriously, you probably just say there was an open bar. You know they would have showed up, but get this, right? They looked like, uh, they weren't inappropriate. So they weren't tonguing each other down at a funeral, thank God. But they say that Amy was in a wrap dress that was very short. And they just looked like this hot couple. There was no shame in their game. Now, let me tell y'all something. Hey, you know what? Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Because I don't find TJ Holmes and Amy uh, brand of hotness to be sexy. Like, I know they're both reasonably attractive people. They're doing their thing. Ah, 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 right? Finding love in your 50s. But I'm being serious. I just don't... There's something about them that just seems drunk and forced. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how to describe it. It's cringy. That's what it is. It's cringy. And not the type of cringy that's in right now. And I mean, it's cringy like... Ugh. Anyway, you know why that was so inappropriate? The dress code for the memorial, right? Bragman's starred eyed send off was fabulous business casual. It was business casual. I'm sure, listen, I don't care whether you only worked at Walmart, shout out to Walmart, or whether you work at the head of CNN, business casual. You showed up in a short wrap dress, hug it. But you know what? Whatever. You going to need attention, right? I guess you're trying to be like, anybody want to side a scandal? Because I'm serving. TJ was spotted in a navy suit to compliment Amy's sexy wrap dress. And they both wore sunglasses during the outdoor ceremony. I do want to say something about that, right? So Amy had on a short wrap dress. In my mind, you know TJ was out there. Have you noticed since a uh, TJ got with Amy? Um... One, he's completely given up on the shape up. And two, you can tell he's not putting like Marley's products in his hair anymore. And he's just like a CVS or Walmart or no one him probably like, he looks like he shops at Bloomingdale's talking to the girl at Kiehl's when they're like, no, if you put this in your hair, it'll make your natural curls pop. Boy, if you don't go to Target and get in the black hair aisle and get something to make those curls pop, seriously. They are dry. And I feel like because he's with Amy, he's like, yo, how's my hair look? And Amy's like, oh, my God, it looks so sexy. And meanwhile, Marley's probably cackling because, again, I can tell when they split up. TJ ain't buy his own hair supplies. He just used Marley's uh, to make the curls pop because the curls ain't popping. All y'all curly hair aficionados, y'all know what I'm talking about anyway, right? Back to the funeral. They said, we're told the scandalous unemployed company a couple arrived maybe 10 to 15 minutes late before the service started. And despite the circumstances, they seemed extremely happy and greeted everybody with warm smiles. They were extremely friendly with everyone. Um, yeah, you know why that is? Because like I said, it seems like they've been shut out 
they are person non grata and they were so happy to be uh invited to an event my how the mighty have fallen to think that the only time that people even want you around is to say goodbye to someone and they were probably thinking about keeping them off of the list but i don't think you can keep somebody off of the list at a memorial right it's like open door policy if you come you come you know what i'm saying so it's like they were acting like this is like their time out let me try to look sexy and appropriate but anyway they ended up playing themselves i know they had a margarita to calm their nerves i could just see amy being like one more second and tj being like it's showtime let's show them what we got you know smacking her in the booty like oh, when they're rolling on the way out anyway they said still there were a lot of people whispering there was something electric they seemed like a couple who's obviously in love they were definitely attentive and aware of each other okay first of all this source sounds like it like their name starts with a and rhymes with mamie amy and tj shut up and stop giving your own man fiction amy and tj at this point if this is them they sound like they are writing their own fan fiction to play six you guys let's read this in reread this but if through the eyes of this is a memorial service a memorial service someone died people are paying their respect they seemed extremely happy and greeted everyone warm smiles there were um there were a lot of people whispering there was something electric uh, really now y'all writing your fan fiction that y'all showed up in a memorial service and everybody was like oh my god forget the dead man do you see the electricity coming off of amy and tj if you don't get you mm. they seem like a couple who are obviously in love what does a couple in love look like i want to know because <laughs> anyway uh, anyway they were definitely attentive and aware of each other they came together they are leopards nobody wants to talk to them of course they're aware of each other they're just like can somebody else talk to me oh no okay tj we'll just stand here and hold hands they're saying that bragman was a crisis pr guru and activist who was also known primarily for his work handling lb uh lgt lgbtq stars who came out publicly he was also a consultant for abc news where tj and amy previously worked Don Lemon, a former Bragman client and a current pickle, contributed a video clip to the funeral to remember his late publicist. Meanwhile, Melissa Rivers bought some comic relief to the service, joking about being shocked that Howard has allowed me to speak without going over talking points and vetting the audience. She said that she lost a true friend and trusted advisor. Um, listen, hold on, y'all. Anyway, I was trying to find a picture for y'all, but apparently because it's a funeral, people have respect. I guess they'll pop up on TMZ tomorrow. I will say something. It's funny how one doesn't look like uh, Amy Robach is paying or TJ is paying for paparazzi. We can't find any pictures of them. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think of this. Are y'all buying this mess? I know I'm not. The one thing I do know is Amy and TJ are fighting like cats and dogs to make sure they secure the job of their dreams y'all we'll talk about that tomorrow let me know what you think in uh the comments and pray that nobody else passes away because you know amy and tj will show will literally turn that into a fashion show a makeup a makeup scene like listen it's just a mess throw everybody away let me know what you think in the comments and i will talk to you later bye